Swole Benji here. Today we're going to play something a little different. This is Friday Night Funkin', which is created on Newgrounds, but they, uh, they do have a Kickstarter to make a full game. And uh, I actually contacted Ninja Muffin 99 on Twitter about the difficulty, and he said that he would only make tracks as hard as he can do them. And I'm a longtime rhythm gamer. I've played DDR, In the Groove, those kinds of games for... Over 15 years, I was actually a national tournament uh, contender. I won't say what place I got, but it was it was really high up. It was I got a trophy and everything. It's really cool. Anyway, so okay, let me skip. Ah, hold on, skip that. <laughs> I turned the volume down all the way on the game, and that still had volume. Anyway, so let me just explain something real quick. All right, I wanted to film this doing a dance pad because I own a metal dance pad. All right, I drove for two hours, two real life hours to storage because I live in a van and I got my DDR pad out of storage and I lugged it to my girlfriend's house and set it all up. And here's the problem. OK, this DDR metal pad is from the PlayStation 2 era. All right. It does have a USB for computers, which some of you guys know about Step Mania and Quaver games like that. Right. Quaver didn't exist back then. But anyway, the point is, is that the drivers for the control box for that DDR pad is not compatible with Windows 10. It's not compatible with 64-bit systems. So I did some workarounds, and I found some third-party programs. I tried, like, five different ones. And the problem that keeps happening is that the dance pad tries to use the arrow keys as an analog controller stick. So, like, uh, you know, like, you press up on a controller because you have the control stick pushed upward... You can't also simultaneously press down because you're holding up. So what this means is that when I try to play this on my dance pad, because uh, there's no drivers to fix it for 64-bit systems, is that if I'm standing on the up key, I can't press down. If I'm standing on the right key, I can't press left. And for DDR and dance games, if you can't do that, you have to be really floaty and or like be in the center, and you never want to stand in the center of the pad. All right? Uh, so I thought maybe I could play a few songs, but um, this game has a mechanic where if you're pressing arrows, when it's not your turn to press the arrows, you take damage because it, your your character's technically singing. Anyway, I'm just gonna hold on. It's <laughs> stop that. Anyway, I'm just gonna play through the story mode of keyboard. Now let me let me get a few things straight before we start. I know this is a long ass intro, but I am not I am not a keyboard player. I do not play rhythm games on keyboard ever. There are people that are amazingly good at keyboard charts and keyboard stuff, and I am not one of them. I can play really amazingly well on feet. I can do every single chart, including modded ones, with my feet. However, I cannot do them perfectly with fingers. But also, in the tournaments that I went to, I was not a score player. I was a stamina player. So I played the really fast, really long songs where you basically ran the whole time. And my goal was to run out my opponents so that they would fail and I could finish the song and beat them, and that's like, because uh, I would get to choose a song, they would get to choose a song. Most DDR tournament players are score players. They play for that 99.9%, .9%, that 100%, that AAA, those kind of players. Anyway, let's just get into it. Let's just, let's just play. I'm going to raise the volume. I think that's a respectable amount. Let's see if that's too loud. I don't know if it's too loud. So we're just going to do story mode. We're just going to, we're just going to burn through the story, and uh, it's, it's pretty easy and pretty slow. But let, let's do it. Hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. And yes, I'm playing the Newgrounds version, not the uh, not the fixed version. So there's no... Uh, I will be playing a custom song at the end, though, which is way harder than any of the official tracks. So just hang out for that. If you want to get good at rhythm games, I, I can tell you all about how to do it in the real world, like what to eat and how to breathe and how you should stand, but for keyboard charts, I have, I'm have i not really the guy that you should be asking. And yeah, I'm sorry that I'm talking while the song is playing. Okay, essentially, if you've never been to Newgrounds, Newgrounds is a Flash where you could upload Flash videos. I'm sorry, it's a website where you can upload Flash videos. Back in the day, like I'm talking like 20... I don't know how many years ago. Uh, there was no, like, YouTube. There was no internet videos except for, like, file-uploaded websites. 
so everyone went to Newgrounds to watch the latest Flash animations and little video shorts, right? And uh, <laughs> I have really fond memories of this website. But, but this game has a lot of like little Newgrounds characters and homages and stuff like that. So it's, it's really cool, you know, as an adult to come back and uh, see all the, the characters interacting and stuff. It's, it's just got that Newgrounds feel. It's something you'd have to experience. It's very nostalgic, I guess. So the songs do get harder as it goes, but honestly, they're not that hard. I would opt to speed up the arrows, but um, then people just couldn't read them at all and they'd probably click away or something. So I'm playing it by, I'm just playing story mode by default, which is hard mode. I'm not speeding up the scroll speed or the, the rate of the song or any of that. I'm not turning off the Vocaloids. So for those that don't know, a Vocaloid is uh, like, you know, Hatsune Miku and stuff like that, right? That's basically what this is. It's it's like it's like you watch them do the DDR on the left, and then it's your turn to kind of s sometimes do the same arrows. And uh, there's a Vocaloid track when you press the arrows. That's that's how this is basically made. I don't know really what kind of commentary you're supposed to do on a dance game, especially since I'm just kind of sitting here pushing the the buttons and not doing it with my feet. I tried for over two hours. I drove for two hours back and forth. Because I wanted to show you guys doing hard mode on a real dance pad, but my dance pad is too old. I'm not paying $500 for a new one. I know the newer ones could do it. I know there's like... I've been out of the dance community for a very long time. So I don't even know the brand names anymore. I don't even know if you guys can even hear my keyboard at all, but hopefully it's not too distracting. Don't worry, it ramps up, guys. It, <laughs> I mean, it kind of ramps up. If you just want to see a hard song, skip to the end of the video. Uh, but I'm, I'm just burning through the story. Hopefully this doesn't trigger any kind of copyright. That was another problem with rhythm games and having a rhythm YouTube channel. Was that uh, <laughs> any kind of songs that you would play or record, back when YouTube was you know still new, it was fine. Like I had, I had a channel with dance games on it, which I wish I had the videos. I don't have any backups and I can't find them. And they were really grainy like when digital cameras first came out. I was like one of the first dudes uploading really crummy 360, 240p footage just on the file hosting websites, right? So I'm out there somewhere. There's a young swole bitchy out there, which I wasn't swole back then. I was a skeleton, man. I was a hungry, starving skeleton, and I had no muscles because I burned them all doing DDR every day. Like I wouldn't eat that much and I would just over do too much cardio. <laughs> So th this video, this game is very popular right now. This game is more popular than World of Warcraft. Uh, on their Kickstarter, they, they've raised over like 1.3 million dollars or something at, at the time of this recording. It's crazy for a literal Flash DDR game. It's uh, <laughs> I I think it's cool. I think the songs are catchy. The gameplay is fresh. It's always good to see another version of DDR out there. You know, Quaver came... What the hell? I thought it was supposed to keep going. Okay, I, I have to click week two? Whatever. I thought it was just going to keep going all the way. I didn't have to do any menus. Landed a loading screen. It looks nice. Yeah, the animations are pretty funny. I like when it strikes lightning, the girlfriend, and the boyfriend. That's our canonical names. The girl in the middle. <laughs> their character name is literally Girlfriend. And of course, the blue-haired guy is his canonical name is boyfriend. And there's countless Flash videos, uh, YouTube videos about these characters. The characters on the left, I don't know what they're from. I've been out of Newgrounds for quite a while. I've seen them around, but I, I can't tell you the artist's name or, or any of that stuff. I wish I could credit them. Is it Sir Pello? Is did he do the the Spooky Boys? I I don't know. I should have done my research before filming the video, but it's too late now. We're already in it. Oh, see, I miss one. When you miss one, your character gets like a little, like, I don't know. I, I don't care about my score, so. <laughs> I just thought I'd show you guys. And when you lose, you get a, you get blue balled. It's kind of funny. <laughs> I guess I could show you the, the game over screen on the next, uh, the next match or whatever. I don't know if it starts over on story mode or not. So maybe I'll get through Spooky Boys and then I'll show you. Or you just play, play the game for yourself and see the screen. I don't have to show you everything. One thing I wish is that, um, I don't know if the creators will ever do this, but In The Groove really changed the dance game, right? 
Unfortunately, Konami sued them out of existence because they copied the four arrow thing. And I hope this game doesn't get sued by Konami because that would really suck. But um, what In the Groove did was, depending on the note that the arrow falls on, uh, like you have, like, like for, for, for those that don't know music, like you have the beat notes, the rhythm notes, and then you have the really fast rhythm notes. Uh, those are called like half notes, quarter notes, 16th notes, etc. Um, the, the arrow color changes, but on this game, the arrow color is dependent on the arrow itself. So like, right is red, pink is left, blue down, green up, and that doesn't change. So like, you just have to kind of eyeball it. And I don't have any of these tracks memorized. Yes, I played the game before filming, but I don't, I'm just sight reading. Sight reading is whenever you play a dance chart for the first time, and you just kind of hit the buttons at what you think is the best time. Because the arrows don't show you the color of their note, it's a little harder to judge when to hit the button. And sometimes I hit extra, which is a tournament thing, because like when you're in a tournament, you want to step really hard so that you control the sound of the, the rhythm and the beat, but you want to add steps because you want to throw off your opponent's rhythm as well. So like, so da 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 right? I'd be like da 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 you know, and in tournaments you're not like taking turns fighting another person. Like they don't do the dance and then you do the dance. In a DDR in the groove tournament, you're playing the same steps at the exact same time. So if you're playing a if you're a lightweight or you have loud shoes, like it's a little bit like if you're a heavyweight, you can step really hard and you can make a loud clang on your steps and throw off the opponent. There's a lot of metas to the tournament game. Most of it is just eating and sleeping properly so that you can see the damn arrows. Because a lot of a lot of the songs that you do will be a sight read. This used this song here used to be a hidden one. You had to like go into a menu and type in a code, which was monster, and then you could access it. And also uh, the animation, whenever he looked down, his neck would poke out of his mouth. It was really funny that they fixed it. I don't know the the creator of this one maybe it's i don't know i think his name's lemonhead lemon monster I, I don't i don't know the character's names man you have to do this research yourself okay i'm just making this video just to see if people like it because they're making a full game and it, it's a ddr game i play i play every ddr in the groove game i played quaver played the hell out of quaver uh, unfortunately i can't get the dance pad to work for it <laughs> And Quaver has a lot of copyrighted stuff. That's why I haven't put it on this channel. I didn't know if people would even like that. And when you Google search Quaver, it has low results. This game has tons. This game is like four times as more popular than Albion Online, dude. I'm telling you, it's big. Might get some new people. <laughs> I mean, that's all. I'm not. I'm not doing it for that though. I'm doing it because I just want to remember this game in case you know one day late in the future that it just doesn't exist anymore and I'm, you know, I, I, I like to remember the dance games, okay? That's what my channel's about. It's just building a big, like, scrapbook of memories. It's also, when I play video games, I want to, you know, watch myself and learn how to play them again if I ever decide to come back, because that's really annoying. Like, imagine you played a game, like, 20 years ago, like, for instance, an MMORPG called Night Online. I played that maybe 15, 20 years ago, right? If I started to play it again today, I would have no idea what to do. No idea where to go, no idea the metas, anything. So, by making videos and content for myself, I can start back over again on a game. Like, imagine if Albion has like an Albion Online Classic. Or like, like World of Warcraft has a Retro WoW reunion version or some crap, right? I can just look at my channel and just be absolutely Gucci. I can just be right back where I started, you know, like with Knowledge is power, okay? And <laughs> you may think that my commentary is annoying, but I don't know if this is copyrighted or not. And why would you just watch me play this game with no commentary? That sounds that's boring. I don't like to watch people that don't talk. <laughs> There's really not a lot to talk about. I mean, right down, left up, right up. <laughs> See, I can't even say it right. But I, I can hit the keys. <laughs> How annoying would that video be? Right up, right, left up, left. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> See? It's too hard to say left and right real rapidly. All right, let's try this. Up, down, right down, left down, right down. See? Yeah, there's no way to vocalize that unless you're like a rapper. Which I did have a rap video. I did make a rap video a while ago. I've been up way too late, guys. I have been, I have been really, really staying up late lately. And whenever I stay up late, I get really crazy. Okay. No, don't go there.
Okay, so that was week two with the spooky boys, and then week three is Pico. You guys know Pico? Come on, he's the he's the Newgrounds main redheaded character. Tom Folk made him. Tom Folk made Flash animations, and that was his like character that he made. I, I like the Pico uh, little areas. I think they sound pretty cool. They're pretty hopping. The background's cool. It's got the train going. It's not bad. I got in trouble. <laughs> I used to have to, like, okay, as a child, I would have to wait after school for my parents to get off work. And, uh, <laughs> I'd, I would spend time at the, the public library, right? And they had, like, just gotten internet connections, and so I would go to Newgrounds, and I would spend the whole time on Newgrounds watching, like, Pikachu get murdered and stuff, which is the kind of content you could find at the time, right? And, uh... <laughs> I remember I was watching this brutal flash animation of Pikachu getting absolutely brutalized. Like, it was like a kill Pikachu flash, where you like get baseball bats and guns and chainsaws and you just kill Pikachu. And I was like laughing super hard and being really obnoxious in the library. And then I look up and the librarian's just giving me this mean, angry librarian stare. And then she's like, yeah, we have to ban you for life. You're never allowed to come back. <laughs> Thanks, Newgrounds for getting me banned for life from the library. I could have made something for myself, but because of your flash animations, I was never allowed to go back to that library. But that's okay. I, don't, I had a computer at home. I didn't need the library. Libraries are fucking pointless. Libraries don't serve a purpose unless you're, like, homeless. Okay? You know, I happen to be actually homeless. <laughs> I may live in a band. It's not entirely homeless. But, uh... <laughs> kind of is. But, uh, but I happen to have, well, I mean, there's computers in your pocket these days. Back then, like, smartphones didn't exist, okay? I'm talking, like, before Google days, man. Like, I remember what life was like before Google. I remember what it was like to have a pager. <laughs> like, not even a cell phone, dude. I uh, hit too many up arrows there. Come on, man. I'm not a score player. I don't care. I always found score players insufferable. Speaking of, I used to be part of, like, the local community of, like, DDR and the group players. And I, I had I had a pretty good internet footprint on a different name back in the day, right? So I was pretty infamous in my area. And, uh, people were, like, rumor-mongering big time. Like, I remember I would I went to, like, a new area to play a dance game. And, like, three dudes immediately started hitting on me. They thought that I had, like, hacked a cabinet, which is an arcade machine. And that I had modified things and, and, and did some property destruction. I was like, no, that wasn't me. And they're like, well, well, in the forums, they said it was you, dude. And I was like, no, it's not. And it's like, well, there's no proof that I did it. Why would I destroy a dance machine? Those things are rare. I don't, I don't know. It was really weird. Like, there was some guy that was grimming me in real life uh, by, by, like, saying, spreading rumors and, like, destroying machines and then claiming that I did it anonymously. It was really a pain in the ass. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then, like, a few of them did, you know, take me in and accept me, as socially awkward as I was way back in the day. And... <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know, I kind of cut ties with them all, but, uh... I, it, was, it was just weird. Like, they were all rich kids, man. They were all very, very wealthy rich kids. Like, DDR? If you ever wanted to get into the DDR dance gamer scene in your local area, it's full of pompous rich kids... Like, I'm talking their dads and moms work for the government rich. Like, they are crazy rich. This is, like, one of the better songs in the whole track, so uh, I don't want to over-talk it too much. I think the Vocaloid tracks are really good in this one. Also, the Newgrounds, uh, if you haven't played this in a while, they fixed the timing, so you don't have to use the modded version anymore. The timing is, is crisp and good. Like, the timing used to be way off on these songs, but now it's, it's pretty easy to hit. My mute button is the lower volume button on the game, damn it. Give me a sec, I'm gonna fuck with the volume. Alright, there we go, we're back. Pretty sure that was the same volume that I had it at. Anyway, um, the girlfriend's cat is rubbing up against my legs. Doesn't really help. They probably saw my legs move into the song beat, right? Uh, anyway. What are we talking about? I don't remember what we're- Oh yeah, local dance scene. Dude, there's so many new rhythm games out now. 
Like, uh, if you live near what's called a round one, they're in Japan, they're in America, they're in UK, uh, and I think they're in Australia? Anyway, uh, it, it's like a dance game with no arrows. It's just a big, flat, flashy pad. You have to, like, scoot your legs around and your feet. I've actually never gotten to play it, because every arcade that I went to to actually play it, it's so damn busy. And like I said, I'm I'm so hated in my local area that I'm not welcome there. I have to, like, go in disguise if I want to play a dance game in real life. Really sad, but, uh... But these dance gamers, like, okay, if you ever go to the arcade, like, you go to Dave & Buster's to play DDR, there's usually, like, an Asian kid there, and it doesn't have to be Asian, it could be any, any race, like Hispanic, Black, White, it doesn't matter, okay? And they will sit on the machine all day with their water bottles and their uh, Gatorades. And I used to do the same thing, but I would let people take turns. And there's some etiquette to learn. If, if you're like a shut-in and you've never been to an arcade and you're planning to go and maybe play dance games and get cardio fit, there's some etiquette, right? I don't know about you, but like some of the arcades, they don't have tokens, they have cards. But what you're supposed to do is you, you just bring a quarter with you, okay? And, when, and what you're going to do is you're going to put the quarter on the edge of the front of the machine so that everyone can see it. And that is called a quarter line. So other people will have their quarters up there. You put yours there. And then they'll take their quarter down when it's their turn to play. They'll play their match. And if it's a, it's a versus match, the winner stays usually. Not always. You have to kind of consult with the, the local peeps. really depends on who's kind of manning the machine that day. And uh, when it's your turn, you can play. So the problem with trying to use DDR as a cardio at a busy place like that is that you have to wait so long in between matches that you can't just bang out your cardio and leave, which means you're getting a crappy workout. But if you can find a dance machine that's in good quality condition, a lot of them aren't. A lot of the owners don't fix their machines. The arrows are busted. They have missed timings. The screens are janked or messed by, like, I don't know, magnets. Three, two, one. But uh, if you find a good one and there's not a lot of people there, you can you can get a lot of calories burned and you could really up your cardio levels in real life, man. I highly recommend like DDR in the groove. If you in the groove is extremely rare. They got sued out of existence like ten something years ago. So if you can find one, oh man, play it. And it's not like something you can Google either. There used to be websites to track these arcade like locations, but they uh, they haven't been updated in so long. So anytime I go vacationing, I look for. <laughs> Any kind of dance machine I can find, like a Pump It Up, uh, DDRs, DDRAs, and the Grooves, the Groove 2, Dedicab, you know, upgrades. And I, I will pick a hotel near my, like, destination that has that damn arcade, and I will play that arcade as as I vacation. <laughs> like, um, I, went, I went to Universal Studios in America in Florida uh, a couple years ago. And there was a hotel that had a, uh, a what is it, uh, a Pump It Up Pro just hidden away, like in a laundry room or something. And I was like, holy crap. It was like a huge score. I wasn't even looking for it. And so what did I do in between going to Universal? I played that damn arcade. I put like $100 over a week in that thing. And that, that's what I remember most from my vacation, is playing the dance game. Not Universal Studios, because shit, that, that place was busy as hell, man. Universal Studios, holy crap. Now that's a good run. Oh, that was a sick run. That was a... That, that was like... It's a good chart. Whoever does the, the charts, they're fun, and they're not too hard. Okay. For a, for a new player, maybe, like, you might have to play a couple weeks or a month to be able to do that run, but but it just it just feels good, right? Now, this is the chart that gets everyone trouble. I see a lot of YouTubers just mess this one up big time. But it's really not that hard, and I'm not a keyboard player. So, like, my, uh, my hand or eye-feet coordination is way better than my hand-eye coordination for these types of games. What am I at? 48 combo. I hate how the combo is on the girlfriend and not in the middle of your screen. I wish it was persistent. I hate how it fades away and bounces around. I do, one thing I do like that games haven't done is when you get a fantastic or a, an excellent, I'm sorry, a fantastic or a perfect, the arrow kind of like makes a, an explosion, like it pops. It releases little fireworks or splashes, right? So like, look at my arrows right now, and when I get a fantastic, it does that little splash. And then, of course, the girlfriend says sick. 
I, I know I, I didn't do the tutorial. I didn't do the tutorial, and that's part of the story. But it's just a girlfriend that says like, ah, down, left, right. Sorry, didn't want to talk during that part. <laughs> and she's like, that's how you do it. I think the girlfriend's voice is just a guy's sped up. I'm not sure about that, so don't quote me on that. But yeah, when they release the full game, if it's not copyright stricken, you know, the songs and stuff, which is really hard to do for a rhythm game. Because you have to make that, what, like public access or free use or I forget. Um, <laughs> otherwise, I could play it on mute, which would be boring as hell. Like, imagine releasing a video on how to do this where you just hit the arrows and there's no music or Vocaloid tracks. I like... I like how later on, the, the newer tracks, the background gets a little more dynamic. Like, you'll see on the Newgrounds level, where the tank men are running around, it's actually dynamic. It's not just demons doing a little hip sway with their shoulders all hyped up, right? I played this track a few times. How did I do? 88600? Nah, that sucks. I actually sucked on that track. So if you thought that was good, that's bad. Don't, don't look at my score on that and say that's good, because that sucked. Alright, what is this? Oh, this is the Christmas one. Or the, the dad and the mom having like Christmas and you're invited over with the girlfriend and... and he just holds her! Which which is funny because uh, it's like foreshadowing because uh, man, boyfriend does that to girlfriend later. <laughs> Why is he holding up Santa though? <laughs> and is that... Oh, is that a... What's that purple haired girl in the background? She looks familiar. It's that... Fuck. I forget the name. Yeah, with the purple skull in between her boobs there. Man, I've, I've seen that character before. She does like a news report with other characters and stuff, and uh, the only one that I remember, there was a news report with one of the guys from uh, Oni Plays, and he's like being really creepy and stuff, and she's like losing her fucking mind. The, the really nasally talking guy is like... <laughs> I, I don't know their names, man, because I don't really watch them. I don't do a lot of YouTube watching anymore, man. Ever since I actually became a YouTuber, there's no time. <laughs> I'm stuck making videos all day. I don't get to consume like you guys. Like, after I make this, I gotta like sit down and brainstorm like 10 more Albion ideas. And I'm running out, man. I am really running out. I, I don't know any of the other characters in the background, but they look pretty cool for, you know, the style and stuff. I wish I was good at art. I used to make Flash animations way back in the day. Like, I spent years making Flash for Newgrounds. None of them ever hit front page, and uh, a few got bland. They were alright. Like, I would average, like, two to three stars. Mostly, like, little stick figure fights and uh, mostly gory stuff. Like, I made a lot of gory Flash animations uh, in my teenage years, man. If you've been around Newgrounds, you might have actually played them. Some of them were also like copied ideas, like there was a guy that made a stick animation where like these stick figures have to run a platformer and the screen scrolls, and if they get caught on the edge of the screen they get dragged and smashed into the, uh, what is it, the, the terrain? And I was like, I could make a better one than that with more gore, and I did, and it got, that was like my best Flash I ever made. I don't remember the name of it, and I wouldn't share it anyway because that kind of doxes myself and my own identity. Uh, <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not telling, even if I knew. These Christmas ones aren't so bad. <laughs> it kind of sounds like, whoever did this track, it sounds like the... I don't know what it's called, it's like the dating simulator, uh, week. There's like a guy and, and I don't know, he gets all corrupted and shit. You'll see it in a bit. <laughs> How long is this video now? I'll look at the time. It is 29 minutes. Oh shit, I missed. I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking at the screen. Don't hate. <laughs> there we go. Every time I mute my mic, I'm usually doing something in real life, so I don't want you guys to hear it or have it in the video. You know, like a sneeze or something. That's. I think it's rude when YouTubers put their sneezes uh, in videos, but then again, I'm the guy that puts farts and burps in, so who cares, <laughs> right? So I'm excited for the, the full release of the game because uh, they said that there's going to be this new difficulty setting where it just keeps going up forever. And I don't know how they're going to do that, but that's like revolutionary, right? Because you can only fit so many arrows into like a note. Is like, 
extreme hyper difficulty just gonna be one 30 second notes like <laughs> on every freaking mini line like just like oh yeah this, the story has little animations in between sometimes there you go <laughs> i've actually never played through the story i've only just played the free mode so this is the winter horror land i believe the lemon guy that's really cool though how it opens i mean i know it's it's just a flash little game Oh, uh, this song is pretty fucking good. <laughs> I've seen this song remixed on 4chan. It seems like you're seething. <laughs> I'll try not to talk over them because it's pretty damn fucking good. I had to look up what the lyrics were. It's like, I'll take a piece of your rabies and vivisect your mind. I don't know what vivisect means. I miss those. Damn. It's such a slow song. Slow songs are really hard. Arrows would slow scroll speed. Oh. I'm trying not to talk over it, man. Arrows with really slow like scroll speed are hard for me to read. And I'm doing all sight reads. Like, the faster, the easier. I'd want to play this on, like, 8x. Turn your girlfriend inside out, burn your fingernails. Girlfriend's a demon, by the way. I don't know if the, the lemon guy could take her on, man. <laughs> Watching as the skin gets softer. I still have my Newgrounds account. It's so old. <laughs> it's an ancient, ancient account, man. It's really cool to look at all the old uh, videos that I favorited on that account and how much I've grown out of them. <laughs> like, I remember a flash that I favorited on that account. And it was just a flash of a... Like a little Halo grunt. Like, the little baby alien characters, right? It's like He's like doing a little dance. And then uh, Master Chief comes over and shotguns him in the face and is like, Halo dancing, baby, you ain't no Ally McBeal show. It's better. I still remember that shit. It's been like, I don't know how many years. Okay, so we just did that one, Winter Horrorland. And now we'll do uh, week six. This is called Hating Simulator. All right, cool. I don't really know the story. Oh, oh yeah, there is exposition on this one. It's like a... Uh, it's like one of those, whatchamacallits, uh, virtual VR novels, or I don't know what they're called. Uh, I don't know any of the names of, of those kinds of games either. Visual novel. You, you could read it yourself. I'm not doing, I'm not reading it for you. Beep, baboo. Yeah, yeah, the boyfriend, he only communicates with beeps, which is kind of funny that he can't actually talk. <laughs> This was the first song with really good timing, by the way. What I hate because of the arrows, different colors, that you can't... Like, I, my brain is programmed to see the arrows as... freaking the speed of the note. So when there's a jump, or a gallop, or a, or a you know, 132nd, like, double step, or a jackhammer, it, it throws me off. So don't judge me on my score, guys. And this is really slow scroll speed for me. Like, I'm, I'm being honest with you. This this is hard because it's so damn slow. My favorite BPM for songs is 145 with a 4x scroll. That's like the easiest that I can get high scores on. Like, it's so slow, man. Ugh. And what is this guy doing anyway? Is he trying to, like, hit on the girlfriend or something? Like... He's got all these girls in the background with lovey dubby eyes anyway, right? Why don't he just get one of them, man? Why does he gotta go after her? See, those are all like half notes. Like you got a beat note and a half note. I would really I wanna do this on a freaking dance pad. I really wanted to, man. I'm really upset that I have to do this on keyboard for y'all. I'd definitely have a better score if I did. It'd be way more entertaining to see me. It'd be like a foot reveal. I haven't done a face reveal on this channel. 
Oh, oh, he mad. <laughs> Why does everyone get mad when they lose? <laughs> Beep, boop, did a skidab, skidoo bip. <laughs> oh no, all the girls in the background are like crying or something. What's going on? <laughs> are they like dying in the background or? Are they heartbroken? What's what's the story behind the the background characters? All right, so after this, um, is it the Newgrounds one? Yeah, it's the Newgrounds one, and then I'm gonna show you a custom that's actually difficult. <laughs> well, not too difficult, but there's definitely no way I can get a very high score on it because of just how it is. Yeah, long video. I didn't know. Like, this is a good amount of gameplay for a Newgrounds flash. We're at 35 minutes. I know three of that was like an intro. But hey, you know, I'm making videos for myself and my, uh, my, <laughs> the, the 20k subs that I got. 20k subs at the making of this video, by the way. I hate crossovers, by the way. That, that step that I just did in this next one coming up, these are called crossovers. They, re they require you to spin your hips sideways to do them. And they're not, they're not fun to do on, on feet. With, with fingers, it's pretty damn easy. I, uh, <laughs> I actually used one hand for that one, <laughs> which is dangerous because it trains your brain wrong. The idea way to do keyboard charts from my, what I've read is you have two fingers on your left and down. Oh shit, I didn't, I wasn't looking. <laughs> ah, damn, I really fudged that up. I wasn't looking, I was looking at my fucking keyboard. Okay, so like uh, my left hand, index finger, middle finger. Middle finger is A, index finger is S. My right hand is index finger up on the arrow keys, and middle finger on the right arrow key. My left hand is A and D, by the way. A, D, up and right arrow. Okay, so he's like a demon. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I've seen the character. I don't know that he transformed, though. I thought it was just like the demon killed him or something. Like I've said, I've never played the story mode. I'll make her father pay for what he's done to me and all the others. Okay, so the father converted him to a demon? Oh, he's like, he like possesses bodies, okay. Alright, yeah, this is, this is a pretty epic track, man. It's, it's alright, it's pretty good. You know how, how hard it is to play this and talk at the same time? I don't see a lot of YouTubers be able to do that, but I, I have that, that gift, that, uh, the gift of the gab. <laughs> and then I just don't talk. <laughs> Oh, I could- oh, I could have a better score if I concentrate, bro, but who cares? I'm not gonna remember your score on a dance game in 10 years, just enjoy the song and pushing the buttons and getting that dopamine hit whenever the arrows connect properly. And then the girlfriend's bobbing her head back and forth. That, like, she's been sloshing her brain for a while now. Someone on uh, 4chan posted her skeleton, like, whenever- Oh no, it's- it's coming up on the Newgrounds one. I'll fail so you can see it yourself. It's on the third level. Yeah, cause uh, you get if you fail, she technically like you're holding her, so she fails as well. And you can see her skeleton; it's weird. It's like a ultra flexible like cartilage or something. I don't know; it's weird. I'll sh I I'll try to remember to show you. Hopefully, it doesn't make me restart the the story mode though. <laughs> the The next level is really freaking good though, cause it's uh, Johnny. I think it's Johnny Utah that does the voice of the tank man. Have you, have you guys seen the Flash Street Fighter Chode? That that was like the last boss of Newgrounds Flash animations. That's, that's probably my favorite one on the whole site. Then again, I haven't really browsed the site in like so many years. Because I became a wage worker bee, you know, in real life. And I missed an arrow! Ugh, gross. Wait, maybe I did. I don't know. It said it was 270 combo. I hate how there's a delay. Alright, so that was week six, week seven, that's the last week they've got so far, it's the Tank Men. Or Tank Man, I guess is what it's called. Yeah, Johnny Utah. I'm pretty sure it's Johnny Utah. That does well, the voice. Well, 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 what do we got here? <laughs> we should just kill you, but what the hell, it's been a boring day. Let's see what you got. Three, two, one, go. I really should have got a drink first. This one is actually, they crank the difficulty up, which is good. That means the creator, 
is getting better at his own dance game, and I like that. If Ninja Muffin can get really good at dance games, that means he's gonna put some really baller hard tracks on the game. Or he might cave to people like me demanding every freaking day to up the difficulty. But there, there are some crazy finger tracks out there, man. Like, you go to Quaver, which is a Steam game, it's free, by the way. And, and, you, and you look at, like, the really hard stuff on there, people are, like, 100%ing those, and I can't even pass them. Like, I'll, I'll miss, like, ten in a row and die. These actually take a little concentration, right? <laughs> it's kind of kind of weird. I wonder if it's Johnny Utah as the Vocaloid. Is that a? Can you do that? I don't know anything about how Vocaloids work. But yeah, the background on this stage is way more dynamic, especially when Pico shows up. <laughs> I keep spoiling the damn story mode, but hey, whatever. Most people have played this by now. Alright, so I know I said we were gonna die so you can see the girlfriend's like skeleton and I could show off the blue balls in the main character. You have pretty tight bars for a little dude who's simping over an ugly, boring little teenager that wears her mom's clothes. <laughs> Why would a demon care what a human has to say? If you're a demon and a human, like, it'd be like an animal insulting you or, or a child. If a child insulted you, would you feel sad? So why would she be crying about that? I don't, I don't know. Like, and when I say demon, think of like devil may cry, like devil trigger demon stuff, right? But maybe this world, like demons aren't like super powerful, like demigods that can just like rip people apart. But she doesn't seem to be worried that dudes are pointing guns at her. She's just kind of bouncing around with her hands up. I hate jackhammers. I wish. If anyone who's doing this, that made this track, <laughs> is watching my video for some reason, like if it blows up, I guess, jackhammers are really shitty on pad. On fingers, it's probably fine, but if I was doing this on dance pad, you have to either use both legs on one arrow, which is awkward, especially when you have big calves like me, but <laughs> it's not, they're just not fun. Like, dance tracks lose a lot of street cred when they add jackhammers, which is for those that don't know, a jackhammer is when you press the same arrow very rapidly, you know, like, one after the other, so it'd be like, up, 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 within, like, you know, before the next beat, essentially. I mean, for keyboard, it's fine, but... And those damn crossovers, man. Like, my eyes are not trained for crossovers, because they're, they're pretty rare in, in the groove. Crossovers are pretty plentiful in DDR, though. I was raised on In The Groove. I didn't really play DDR much until after In The Groove came out because I thought DDR was kind of lame. The In The Groove songs were more America Americanized, you know? More urbanized, whereas DDR is like anime Japanese stuff, you know? Oh, and for those that are trying to learn like how to, how to like keyboard charts like this and how to see the arrows, you basically want to stare at one point in your screen. You're not looking at each arrow as they hit the top. But then again, I'm not a score player, so to take my advice with a grain of salt, like, I'm just staring in one spot, and once you have the timing down, it's it's pretty easy to get the timing because uh, the Vocaloid... Oh, I missed that last arrow, of course. The arrows are pretty good. I don't know if I should mute this next part. There's a bad word in there, and YouTube, don't demonetize me, please. <laughs> please, YouTube. God effing damn it. Well played, you little shit. But this is war, and in war, people die. Man, get rid of the fire! Sorry, no prob for you this year! <laughs> oh, oh shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, look who it is, your sexually ambiguous, angry little friend. Don't you have a school to shoot up? There's one way to settle this. Let's rock! Well, you actually, no. Cunt. Oh, wait, there it was. <laughs> you little cunt. Okay, let's fail this real quick so we can see the skeleton. See, look, look at her bone structure. Congratulations, you won. That's what I would say if you weren't such a goddamn failure. <laughs> oh, that's a unique game over sound. The other characters don't talk to you when you fail. Okay, so her leg is actually covering the blue balls. Um, when I first died on this game, I thought it was like ellipses. 
<laughs> Why is she so blinking? <laughs> how does how does that work? So it's it's cartilage. Her whole body is cartilage. That's the theory on 4chan. Which would make her extremely flexible. Anyway, let's just, Oh, look at that. She gets happy when you hit retry. That's cool. That there's so many little touches in this game that make it great, dude. And so yeah, look at the background. Like Pico's just gunning down the tank men, man. They can't even touch them. Look how happy she is every time you hit an arrow. That makes the player want to hit the arrows more. <laughs> and and you gotta hand it to boyfriend for holding her with one hand, dude. Well, I guess if she has no bones, she'd be extremely lightweight anyway, right? So this is the last song that's currently out in the game, and it's only on Newgrounds. If you if you Google search Friday Night Funkin', uh, you won't find this song on there. You have to go to Newgrounds. But on the, on the website that he hosts this on, I forget the, the name, but it's the first Google result, so it's easy to find. Uh, they even say on the page that it's a Newgrounds timed exclusive, so, and then they link it. Yeah, those, uh, those gunsmans are sick. Track's not bad. I don't like the vocal weight of the tank, man. I think it could be better, but... Oh, I got some frame drops there. I wonder if he failed the notes, if he still says pretty good, or if he's like, you suck! Like, if it's dependent on your current score and your fantastic attack, which the term fantastic attack is an in the groove community thing, where uh, FA, or fantastic attack, means that you haven't made a single non-fantastic note hit since the start of the song, which I obviously have missed some, like, I'm a score shit. I'm not a score player anyway, but you get the point. By the way, when you hold the arrow, you hold the animation, so... So I'll hold, like, the last note of the part here. Well, when it lets me. Ah, I'm missing some. Cause I... The, my eyes drifted away. I need to... If, I need to stare at the one part of the map. See, I'm holding down, and he's got that, like, mouth open thing. And I'll, let, I'll let go, and it returns to the idle animation. Okay, so that, that's a YouTube video, I gotta skip that, but I have one more thing to show you guys. And it's a little hard to do, so I'm gonna hide the screen for just a sec, and switch over to it. It'll be really, really fast. Alright, just a sec. Hopefully you have the volume on so you can see it. Alright, so, we're back, display capture back on, and this is a mod, I gotta turn this down. Alright, I'm not going to show both songs, because this is the Madness uh, mod. Alright, so Improbable Outset is, it's pretty easy. Uh, Madness is the actual hard one, so I'm going to shut up when we play this one, because uh, uh, I, I, could, I could lose this one. If you're wondering why the character is super janky, that's part of his character. If you go to Newgrounds, let me turn that down a bit. That's just how he moves. And yeah, epilepsy warning, by the way. <laughs> you can tell this is way harder than the other ones. I can't really talk as much. I gotta, I gotta put. I, I might have to restart because I've already messed up too bad. Yeah, I'm barely, barely surviving. It's really hard to talk and do this one. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to restart because this next part's gonna get me. Sorry for no commentary, lads. This is moderately difficult for a keyboarder. I could do this on feet easy. If I if I if I had a dance pad that I could use that was compatible. Then yeah, absolutely. On feet, this would be super simple. Because you barely have to move your feet, you just keep them in the corners and you just press them down. It's super easy. Luckily, this uh, little break area would give you time to breathe if you were, you know, not cardiovascularly fit. And it fills up your health, so that's nice. 
So it's really cool for whoever modded this to add that in. It's always really nice to see breaks in dance tracks that are high runs. Like, just pretend that you're stepping on arrows as you sit down and watch this, and see how fast you get out of breath if you're not, like, a cardio jab. I missed so many there. I'm really tired. It's hard to see. It's hard to see the arrows when you're really tired, man. Yeah, I, I did really bad there. I've done I've done way better. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that that's Friday Night Funkin'. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, be a bro and stay swole. And make sure you return your shopping carts. And I'll see you in the next one. If you've never seen my channel before, I mostly play MMORPGs. Blech. MMORPGs, but... Oh, it's playing the tutorial song. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, check it out. Uh, they actually have a Kickstarter. It's not on here because this is the mod. Anyway. That's it, lads. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. I'll see you in the next one.